everyone you're welcome to carry's tutorials on all africa tv i remain simeon grace i'll be taking us on a wonderful dress tutorial and i'll be using two different fabrics i'll be using the ankara on a plain shiny black material you can use a veil net or a sample net to complement your design so the ankara fabric is two yards and the plain material is just a yard that's three yards of fabric the base of my dress is a is going to be a full flay and also the sleeves is going to be a flay and the measurements are going to be needing are the under bust the half length and the full length of our dress will also be needing the round shoulder for the sleeve measurement in case you're watching this tutorial kindly watch how to cut because this is the concluding part of our tutorial so let's move on the first thing I'm going to work with is the back I'm going to turn the neck with the lining I'm going to turn the ham hole and also the sides So, make sure you iron all the necessary parts and the next thing I'm going to do on this is to bring out the darts. To bring out the darts, you're going to be conscious of the measurements we added to the back for the zipper allowance. The normal dart measurement is 4 inches. So if you added 1 inch to this, that means you're going to measure 5 inches. If it is 2 inches, that means you measure 6 inches. The dart measurement for this um for this measurement is 3.5 and plus one inch zipper allowance I have 4.5 inches. And also I'm going to measure from the shoulder to the under bust measurements. So this is where my dart is going to stop. The same thing on the other side. So let's move on. Alright, the back is ready. Now we move to the front. Alright, I have the front, each piece with its lining. The first thing I'm going to do is to turn the neck. Then I'm going to close the arm hole, bringing the back together with the front to join the shoulder and the arm hole. So I'm going to do this first.
All right, the next thing is to join the remaining part of the half length. So I'm going to join this part and you can have your lining cut after the joining so that you have just um, a single lining and you can as well join the linings, the two linings back. So I'm going to join this first. Starting from the middle. All right, the next thing to do from here is to close the sides. Then I'll turn. After that, I'm going to bring out the darts. All right, to get the darts, I have 3.5 inches. The normal dart measurement is 4 inches. For this measurement, I'm using 3.5. The length of our dart here, that's the one at the back, is 4 inches. So I'm going to measure 4 inches. And I'm going to stop here. And the same thing on the other side, 3.5 and 4 inches. Alright, so while holding the dart, you have to make sure this align. All right, um, after holding the dart, before attaching the, the half length to the remaining parts, first I'm going to join the sleeve. And on this part, in case you're using a veil net, it means you have your Ankara fabric and your veil net. So your Ankara fabric is going to be a straight material. After holding your dart, you can then place the veil net on the Ankara fabric. So first, I'm going to turn the sleeves. I'm going to close the base. I'm also going to close here, but I'm going to leave some inches so that we can turn it inside out from there.
All right, the next thing we're going to do is to bring the front to join with the sleeve. All right, so I'm going to attach those together and I have the flay. It's going to come from the middle and I'll go this way to the sleeve, to the arm O. Like this, this is a, the arm O. So you can measure the length. The length I'm going to measure from here is 5.5 .5 inches. I'll be using 5 inches. So let's join. All right, the next is to bring out the measurement and we have the bust and the under bust circumference measurement. So the bust and the under bust circumference measurement divided by two is what I'll measure out. So we have 34 divided by two, that's 17 inches. In total, I have 19 inches. So it means I have two inches excess. And I'm going to share one inch and one inch on the other side. Then the other bus circumference measurement of 28 divided by 2, we have 14 inches. In total, I have 16 inches. So that means 2 inches excess. I still have one inch and one inch on the other side. So let's bring out the shape. All right, I guess we are done with the half length. Now we move to the base of the blouse. Make sure you weave all the necessary parts. Weave all necessary parts and iron as well. So let's move to the base. All right, this is the flay. I'll be attaching it to the half length of the blouse and you can add your hard length to the base of your blouse, of your dress in case you want it to look big and it's a matter of choice anyway you can either gather the add net or you pleat on it so I'm just going to pleat this on it before using the lining to cover
all right so we are almost done after joining the net you can as well use your lining to turn the flame and you can attach it just like this next is the zip and to do that i'm still going to maintain my five inches on this part so that i don't tamper with the same length and the same thing on the other side that's for the sleeve and the zip I'm just going to place the zip straight down to join. And after that, I'm going to bring this. I measured four inches from this middle. I measured four inches. So and you can use um, your normal dart measurement. You can still maintain the line to bring this. So I'm going to attach it like this and bring it down to the length of five. So I'm going to attach it to give me the sleeve. Then I'll i'll fix the zip as well and the base you can top stitch you can stitch and fold it in you can weave it and you can use your lining to turn the base of the flake so that will be the last thing to do so let's move it Alright, so I guess we've come to the end of the sewing. And remember, this is a tutorial, so make sure you weave all the necessary parts like we have here. Make sure you weave. We also have the half length. We have the sewing as well. Make sure you weave and then you iron the dress. So we have the front. With or without the hard net, you're good to go. We're also going to weave the lining. So with or without the hard net, you're good. And also we have the back. At the back as well. Thanks for watching Carrie's tutorials. I'm sure you enjoyed the class. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Also click on the bell to get notifications for our upcoming videos. Don't forget to can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram at O Africa TV. And you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Carrie's Creations. Till I see you next class. I remain Simeon Grace. Stay cool.